Before we get started, I just want to thank you all for making this possible. The video we're going to talk about today, which is this one here, got a lot of views for the time that's been uploaded. It's only been two days and we got over a thousand views, which we really appreciate. This wouldn't be possible without your help. So this video was about the Cameo 4 and we're going to cover the design that you see here on the screen. And we're going to talk a little bit about Silhouette Studio, how we go about setting up the image, adding registration marks and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Okay. The image that you see here on the left was the image that I sent to our customer. And after they approved the design, I made a few changes, which didn't really affect the outcome actually made it look better in my opinion, which is the right side. And here, uh, where the arms are, our vinyl was way too light and the magnets were white background. That's the reason we added some kind of contour. And in the end of the video, I'm going to show you how we are going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this image and I need to vector this one here. And this one is a PNG that I already had in my computer and I brought it to our silhouette studio. Now let's click on the image and let's go here where this little icon is here. It kind of looks like a piece of toast. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this here and I'm going to click select area. Now what I need to do, I need to make a box and cover the whole design just like so. And here we have an option, this here on top threshold. If you go to the left, you will see a few changes that happen. I think I'm going to leave it about there. I need to get the inside of our avatar or our logo. And I think I have it there. That's where I'm going to go for. And I'm going to go ahead and select or trace. Now I'm going to move this to the side, our original. Part of our design is missing, as you can see, this uh, little dust thingy. And now I'm going to move it to the side. And I'm going to zoom in so I can start working on our image. Right now it's uh, one image. I need to split it. I'm going to make a right click on the mouse and I'm going to go here where it says release compound path. And what it does, it's kind of like break apart when you are using Corel draw and uh, I'm going to go back one step back and I'm going to click on our silhouette, which is like the whole area, the outside of the, uh, the logo. I'm going to click it and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to cut it and it's going to save it. And then I will do paste later on, but I'll show you that in a few minutes. Now, what I need to do, I'm going to, first I'm going to start from the inside and then I'm going to go um, out. I'm going to start with this area here. Uh, basically what I need to do, I need to combine each color, like the, the white layer, then I will do the skin and then the blue, but I'm going to start with the eyes. Okay. And I'm going to do, what I do, I click on the left on the mouse and press shift button. And I'm going to do that to every single white part of the design. Okay. Okay. I think I got most of them. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be missing a few. What I need to do before I actually let it, let him go or before I uh, combine them, I'm going to give him some color just to make sure that I am selecting the correct part of the design, but I'm obviously going to give it a, uh, a different color, a darker one where I can see. And then I'm going, I'm going to repeat the same steps. I'm going to keep pressing on the shift button so I can keep selecting the ones that I need to add to the, uh, the white layer, which is that one. And let me keep scrolling down. Okay. I think I got all of them. What I need to do now on the mouse, I need to make a uh, right click and then I, I'm going to go ahead and group them all. Okay. And I clicked outside. Now what I need to do, I'm going to click on them again and just to make sure that I selected or I got all the little parts that I need to add and looks about right. Now the next step I need to, let me just show you that. And let's go back. What I need to do, if you see the eye, I can move it down. And what I pretty much need to do, if I were using Corel Draw, what they call simplify, or just pretty much cut through the uh, the this part of the uh, design, I need to do that to this section, this here, lips, 
even this section here, but I'm gonna go and start with this one here. I'm gonna do the same steps. I'm gonna click on it and then shift button and select the next part. Same with this bottom part here. Now the nose. And I think that's about it. And then now the next thing I gotta do, I gotta keep pressing on shift button. And what it's going to do is gonna select the skin part. Now I can click on the right side and then I'm gonna go here and do uh, make compound. And you will see the difference now. They cut through our design. Now I can give it a little bit of color. I need to actually, I forgot one step. I need to click on that. Then this here and Yep, looks good there. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat the same step with this blue part. See if I move it, I haven't done that yet. I need to cut through this here and I'm gonna click on this here um, and then this part here and repeat the same step, make compound. And if you move it to the side, you will see that it's ready. And now what I can do I'm going to combine our hand, fingers, and arms along with this one here. And I'm going to go group. Let's see what else I'm missing. This one here, this one, the neck, and then group. And let's give it some color. Now we need the blue color, or I can just repeat the same step that I did. I'm going to select the image that I want to add color to and then pick the color and let's just look around and see what else we're missing. Okay, I think we got it there. Now, what I did, remember the first step that I did, now I can just bring it back. Now I'm gonna click on the mouse on the right side and then just go to paste and it brought our silhouette back. If I give it some color, I think it's going to be on top of the other color uh, and that can be fixed. I can just bring it to the to the back and I'm going to click on this and then give it some color. Yep. Now what I can do, I can just bring it back, which is really easy. All you have to do, click here. And then if you see here, make compound. Now. I'm not going to do that to this section here because in case I have a different background, I need to save that. I'm going to save that layer and uh, I'm missing another step here. I need to group along with this one here and it should be all that. Now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm, I need to get this section here and I'm going to do like I did at first. I'm gonna go back to the little icon here, the toast looking thingy. Now I'm gonna go here and repeat the same step. Just grab that section. And I think we got it there. And it's just that little part here. Now I'm going to click on it and then go to release compound, which is gonna do what it did at first. Now I can get rid of that and this little thing here and then just move it here. Let me get a little bit closer. Now I'm going to make it blue since that's what we need. That's the color that we need to apply. And okay, now I'm going to get rid of this here. And then I'm going to zoom out and compare it to our image. And I think we got it there. I think we got our image ready. Each color or most of the colors are combined except the blue ones. And what I'm going to do before I actually do that, remember I mentioned at first that we added some kind of contour and that's what I need to do here. I think it's going to look better if I do that, if I add that, um, the contour, and this is where you will find that. You will add the offset here and just make it a little bit smaller. It's way too big. You can just keep readjusting it until you get it right or get it to the size that you want that to be and i'm going to do that i'm going to make it black obviously i want that to be part of the uh the main layer the silhouette and i can combine that along with this part here so i'm going to click on this the contour that we just added and then shift button and click on the um the silhouette and group 
and I need to go back and bring it back to, okay, yeah. Perfect. Now what I can do, I'm going to combine our blue colors, remember how we did it. I'm gonna group them all. And I think they're just perfect. And especially when it comes to decals, I usually like making the silhouette, obviously a solid, or most of it is going to be a solid. I'm gonna move this to the side. I do not need this anymore. And now I'm going to do the uh, registration marks. And this is how I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to go here to our tool. We have different shapes. I'm going to select the uh, rectangle. And it doesn't really matter. You can add it here or you can add it here. Depends on where you add uh, the letters and all that phone numbers. And I'm going to probably do it here, OK? And now I'm going to make a copy of this here. I'll duplicate and I'm going to bring it back here. Our software is telling us exactly where to put it if you want them to be aligned. And what I need to do, I'm going to make a copy of this before I add, um, combine them. Duplicate. I'm going to move them on the side just for now. And then I'm going to select the first registration mark, then click on the next one. I mean, uh, pressing on the shift button and I'm going to weld it with this uh, the skin part or group it and i can move it to the side and yeah we got it there now i'm going to move these alignments or registration marks and let me get close zoom in just to make sure that they are exactly on top of the other ones and they are actually i need to make a copy before i group them it's really simple duplicate and then just put them on the side and then repeat the same step okay and then we can move them to the side and each color i mean most of the colors have their registration marks except the white part but let's say we had a white background there wouldn't be need to apply a white layer of vinyl now, when it comes to adding the winning boxes, especially if you have more than one or two magnets to make or stickers, sometimes you want to save material. I'm going to bring each color to the side. And this is our original image. Let's go here to our rectangle tool. Or you have different tools, but I'm going to use the rectangles. And then I'm going to make a box. Obviously, it has to be a little bit bigger than our layer of vinyl. I'm going to readjust it. Then we would just send it to our vinyl cutter. And I'm going to move this to make a point here. If you bring this here, you can see that this layer of vinyl, it's a little bit smaller, obviously, than the other layer. You can probably make this a little bit smaller, or you can make it bigger here and then just add your copies. Let's say one copy here, one another here, depending on how big the, uh, the decal is. That, that way you could save material. Now I'm gonna bring this other color just to get an idea if it's bigger or smaller, or I think it's about the same size as the blue one. So we couldn't save any more material here. Let's pretend you wanted to, um, had to send a sticker to someone, a decal. This is what I would do. I would just add a big waiting box and just make sure that you leave enough room here. And oops, let's go back. I'm gonna make a duplicate and then I'm gonna repeat the same steps. I'm gonna make another duplicate and I'm gonna move this way to the side. I know this is a little bit uh, complicated or uh, making uh, taking so many steps, but uh, it's really important that you do it like this or I mean, this is how we would do it. Now I'm gonna uh, get rid of the colors that we do not need. Now I'm going to save the skin. And the reason you want to do it like this is because when the time comes, when you apply each vinyl or I mean each color, let's just put it back together. You would have enough transfer tape, enough paper or backing paper to make the design fit in one piece 
when we first started selling decals out of state, we would try to save um, the vinyl, but um, we would forget that we weren't going to do the installation ourselves. So just something to keep in mind. As you guys can see, we're not really experts when it comes to Silhouette Studio, but that's the thing I want to point out that you do not have to be professional. You just got to make things happen. You don't have to wait till everything's perfect. And this is a proof. We are not really experts or we don't know the whole, like every single function in the software, but we just make it work. Or if not, then we just look for tutorials on YouTube. If you guys want to keep supporting us and want to get this template and other templates, you can go to our channel and uh, click on the video. And the first comment, that's where you will find our link where it will take you to buy our either get the materials or you can also buy the uh, the whole collection of different templates ready for your cutter. And we would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys on to the next video. And let us know what you think about our project.